Hi, I'm Peter Malik. I'm here at Westlake Pro in our demo studio B. Recently, I visited Remote Control Productions in Santa Monica. It's Hans Zimmer's studio complex. And I talked to Michael Novich, and Michael was mixing his record. His band is called Blue Kind. We were joined by producer, engineer extraordinaire Nathaniel Kunkel in his room in Hans Zimmer's complex. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Michael, tell me about, tell me about this project that we're here for. Uh, so this project is the Blue Kind. It's a personal project uh, my brother and I started. Uh, we both have went to University of Miami, got degrees in music, his was studio music and jazz. Mine was music engineering. We played in bands together forever. Uh, but we sort of came to a point in time where we really want to present our own face and play the stuff that we love. We don't want to do any covers anymore. I never want to play Sweet Home Alabama or Killing Floor or just anything that people want to hear. I want to play what I want to play. If they want to come hear it, great. If they don't want to hear it, we're doing it for ourselves. So it's kind of a combination of uh, funk and jazz and rock and blues and soul and R&B and all kind of mixed together. And we have a bunch of original tunes that are like that. And then we have, um, we always do a bunch of covers. We pick songs that we like. They're kind of, they're kind of off center covers. You might not have heard the song or not, but they're covers. And then we also take those covers and mix them up and they kind of come out sounding like us. We always, awesome. we always TBK a song. Somebody will bring it in and say, how about this tune? And we're like, yeah, that's cool. Let's TBK it. And we'll mess around with it and make something different out of it. And Nathaniel's your mix engineer. He is my mix engineer. Got uh, and. And you actually it. have a little bit more history than just yeah. Nathaniel mixing the blue kind. Yeah, our our history goes uh, way back. I met Nathaniel when I was working for George Massenberg uh, when GML was still at the complex mm -hmm. in um, in West LA. I worked with George for about I don't know six years, so I did a bunch of records with him. I worked on a bunch of Linda Ronstadt nice. records with him as well, some Little Feet stuff, and then I worked for GML as a design engineer and worked on the. 8900 compressor. Obviously, we delivered a whole bunch of automation systems. We did uh, the equalizers, mic pre's, you know, that's kind of stuff. The 8900 was a pretty big project, the yeah. uh, uh, limiter when that came out the first time. And Nathaniel, you, you consider George a, uh, a mentor? I do, and a good friend. I was his assistant for a little over 10 years. And I see a GML piece right here, one of the few outboard pieces in the studio. Yeah, there's a, the, the, the GML 2020 and a couple of mic pre's, the, awesome. the single channel, you know, vocal processor, as it were. So uh, a little bit about this room. This, it's a Pro Tools room. It is a Pro Tools room, yes. And you have two distinct systems, I noticed. We, we do. We have, a, um, we have a, a print rig and a playback rig um, for, for a lot of the movies that we mix here. Um, the, the track count is just a bit too large to be able to record back into the machine, um, you know, especially with uh, multi-channel stem prints. So for the channel-based mixes, you know, we usually have a high track count print. And also for Atmos mixing, we will use it as a, a way to aggregate all of our metadata before it goes into an RMU processor. So yeah, there's playback and, and printing. And the, they're both HDX systems? Both HDX systems. The print rig is uh, is not quite as large. It's just an HDX2, but the playback rig is an HDX3. And um, with, uh, with uh, a UAD octo card in it as well, which I use for a lot of plug-in. I understand you're a fan of a lot of the UAD stuff. I'm a huge fan of the UAD stuff, yeah. And octo will get you there? You know, you, you'd think I'd run out of it more than I do, but I'm actually able to, yeah, I'm able to get pretty much everything done with it. You know, uh, you know, in the old days, it's not like you had 50 Fairchilds in the back of the room, yeah, you know? The, yeah, you know, so you would, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not a real stretch to go, well, I need to, to be a little bit more careful with how I allocate this particular power. But, but I'm also, you know, from a, from a, an era in record production where you didn't really use all that much out 
board gear. You know, you had a couple of reverbs and a couple of delays, and you know, we didn't have compressors on every channel for the most part, right? So I find myself mixing with a lot less than I would think I would. And, and Michael, you have a Pro Tools rig at home. Yeah, so what we did before this project started... You know where I'm going here. Yeah, I do know where you're going here. <laughs> uh, yes, I have a Pro Tools native rig at home. Right. And uh, I hadn't had a UAD card, but when we started this project, when Nathaniel did, uh, we came and did rough mixes just to kind of get through everything, see where I was at um, with it. And I decided we need to have matching studios. So I bought a UAD cool. card and have the same plugin. So basically he can mix here, do you know, the heavy lifting of the mixing, I could bring it back home to my studio, which is much simpler than this. And I could at least listen to it, play the sessions back. And if I need to do any light fixes, you know, there's a lot of sound design I did in this that I could do all that and like little things if it stems. So I don't want to burden him with the the grunt work. So I'll take care of the stupid things. And totally. Let him do the, the musical stuff. Well, it's, it's sort of a modern workflow, it's right? It's great. It works yeah. great. And Pro Tools is... Are you, are you on the same version? Yeah, uh, I think so. I don't, I'm on 11.3. I think I'm running 12. It hasn't been an issue. So no, yeah, 11 I haven't 12. even noticed. Yep. Yeah, interesting. It hasn't even been an issue. I mean, obviously, there's a, the hardware issue when I log in. I don't have the HDX cards, but it's not a big deal because just, I just get the stereo bus out and, and I'm good. 